Welcome to my memory palace. In these connected halls, floating in the middle of space, I store my memories. A memory palace in virtual reality. For thousands of years, since ancient times up until this day, people have created memory palaces as a means to remember. They found that by visualizing associations to what they wanted to recall, organized across the rooms in their memory palace, they would be able to recall vast amounts of information. Today we can do this in VR. Let me show you what I mean. For instance, this babushka, the Russian doll, works as a visual association to Russia. And quite similarly, this bird um, Canada Goose reminds me, of course, of Canada. Now, this bloated fellow over here, unfortunately, reminds me of the United States of America. Yeah, what a pretty sight. Now, if we go further in and fly down here, we see a vase with a Chinese design placed in the left corner, reminding me of China. Now, if we go further in, on the right side here, we will have a statue of Christ the Redeemer. Normally towering over Rio de Janeiro, this statue works as an association to Brazil. Over here again, we have a rather abstract, textured model of a kangaroo, of course, in association to Australia. And moving further in, we see a statue right behind here of the Hindu god Shiva, reminding me of uh, India. For this one, I didn't find an object, so instead we went for the tiles of the floor. The Son of May, as known in the flag of Argentina. And getting close to the end, we have perhaps an unfortunate association to Kazakhstan, Borat himself. And lastly, out of all of these, perhaps the one that is not as clear, here the moss on the statue reminds me of algae, which again reminds me of Algerie. Now, in this wave we have memorized the 10 largest countries in the world. This of course isn't very hard. What is so special about memory palaces is that we could go on and on and on. Memory competitors utilizing this technique can with time memorize the entire Bible, word for word. So the potential of this is great. And if we had the tools to create vast memory palaces like these, floating around in space, what kind of stuff would we be able to recall? How would we structure our minds and the information that we recall within it? What would you have in your memory palace? You have been watching Alt VR. Subscribe for more alternative and experimental applications of virtual reality.